what would you suggest is one way to get clear about your why? So what I teach people is to reverse engineer the process, right? Like in, in 20 years from now, right? Jamaican guy wants to be sitting on a beach chair somewhere with a Jamaican red beer, right? A red stripe, uh, you know, in, in shorts and flip flops year round, right? I don't want to be in okay. Maryland sn digging snow. Uh, and, you know, I often place myself on that beach chair with my red stripe in hand. And I think about, hey, you know, what would I have wanted to accomplish when I'm out there 20, 30 years from now, right? Like, what would I have hoped to accomplish at the highest level? Remove all the obstacles that are presently in your path and then reverse engineer what this looks like, right? So what would you have to accomplish over the next 10 years, right? Good to great, Jim Collins, B Hags. What are your big, hairy, audacious goals? that you would want to target over the next 10 years that would help you kind of get out to that 20, 30 year vision in your mind. And then another book, so I just shared Jim Collins, Good to Great, uh, talks about those BHAGs. And there's another one um, called Vivid Vision. It's by Cameron mm. Harold. Mm. And what Cameron does, he helps you to get really clear now about what has to happen in the next three years. Right. And, and so, you know, what I'm doing is reverse engineering the process, right? Like think about what, where you'd want to be in 30, uh, 10, three, right. You get down to your three year of a plan on what you're going to do in the next three years. Not just saying, Hey, I want to own a million dollar home. No, I want to own a million dollar home on French street in Bethesda, Maryland. I want, you know, a white brick home with, you know, a kitchen with quartz countertops. And it's going to be five bed. I mean, like vivid detail on where you're driving your life and mm -hmm. trying to get to, right? And then, you know, from there, Dave, what I've realized is you begin to task out the things that you need to get done. You're planning what has to happen. Those detours happen. That's fine, right? Uh, when my dad suffered a stroke and I put my podcast on pause for eight months, I got six months out. I'm in the couch. I'm depressed. I'm eating ice cream and watching Netflix and I'm lost. And guess what helped me get off the couch, Dave? Those goals. Mm. Yeah. Th 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 those that, you know, that vision is able to look up and say, hey, is this still what you're trying to do? Is that, you know, and why, right? And this is why the why is important. And having clarity on paper, right? You got to get the paper out your head and down on paper so you can see where you're trying to go, right? That allowed me to keep the ball moving through those detours, right? Yeah. Uh, I love everything that you just said and agree with it. And, um, and, and I, I would add putting that vision onto paper is the first physical manifestation of the vision. Yes. Right? It's, it, it's the first thing where we're stopping thinking about something and we're actually applying action to it and we're making it something physical in the world. I'm not saying that as like it's some sort of magical thing. I'm saying it's helping you as an individual move away from just thinking to doing. Yeah, and, and the reason for that, you can't edit the idea when it's in your head. So you get it out your head and down on paper, and now you can begin to massage how that looks. Yeah, or you can edit it, but it's just swirling around, and it's, it's not swirling. It's in not there. productive. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you liked this video and want to listen to the full episode, go to your favorite podcast app and subscribe to the Dave Crenshaw Success Project. You can also find all the full episodes at successproject.show.